Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own icon font uh, using Icon Moon. It's an online uh, application that helps you to do that. So you will need uh, to connect to Icon Moon, uh, it's free, and you will need a graphical um, software, vectorial drawing software, uh, such as Illustrator. You can use any one you like as soon as you can export your files in uh, SVG format. So for this, I'm just going to create a new document. Uh, I really recommend you to use squares so you can manage your margin and space uh, more efficiently because uh, your icon uh, will be a square. Um, I'm just going to draw an ellipse in the middle. Uh, very simple, that's not the point here. If you have a lot of icons already in one single vectorial set, you will have to export them uh, in separate SVG files. That's, that's mandatory to export your, your font icon. You will need each icon in separate SVG. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to save as icon. And I select SVG, save, and OK. So from here, I can uh, go to icon menu. You don't need to register. Uh, you can register if you want to be uh, premium. You can you can set up for premium account. There's a lot of uh, feature, but for for my own use, uh, I don't I don't need that. You can just connect to the application by clicking the icon moon app button, and here you click import icons. You select your SVG file or SVGs if you have more, of course, and you click open. Your icons will be added here as an untitled set and you will have to select them all to export them later. Uh, just very quickly I'm going to show you the reason why I use Icon Moon. It's because uh, you can also select icons from other uh, font icon, icon font. And so in, in my case I use Font Awesome a lot. So I, I click Add Font Awesome is added as, as part of the new set I'm going to create. And from here I can select only the icon I need from Font Awesome and close it. Or don't close it, actually, it doesn't matter. So when your selection is done, uh, including your own set, which you can do the same, by the way, you can decide that you want to export only a couple of your own set, plus another, maybe, you can click Font and it will uh, display a kind of a report for you to review and to make sure you didn't forget any icon you need. So here we can see that I have six from uh, Font Awesome and I have one from my own set. And here you can click download. Uh, clicking download will generate uh, zip files for you. And these zip files contain your font, but also uh, something very important uh, so this is uh, the content, that's what it looks like. So you have those three items. That is the demonstration page. Um, this includes, uh, basically, uh, we can open it. It includes this uh, page. Uh, it's, it's like your report page. And it also includes the font, obviously, a different format. This SVG, for instance, can be open in your vectorial software. Uh, README, not very important. And a very important one, which is the JSON file, your, your, your selection.json. Uh, this is very important because Icon Moon doesn't remember your project. Uh, well, it does, but it, it stores that in, in your browser's cache, as mentioned here. So if I clear my cache, I lose everything. But by re importing this file, this JSON, you will add a new project, you can load it and then be able to select or remove icon, add new ones if you want to add your uh, SVG again and select from another one maybe yeah, those icons and do it again and it will generate something new again so we're done, uh, now you can create your own font, and I wish you a lot of fun doing this, bye bye.